morning. Just wanted to say thank you all for for being here and covering what clearly is an historic moment, an exciting moment for the city of Chicago. A better, stronger, safer city um, is something that we're all going to work towards together. And I want to thank the residents of the city of Chicago for putting their trust in our movement. So I'm looking forward to our conversations ahead. It's like when I'm trying to talk to my kids in the morning. It's always a little extra noise. But I want to thank you all again. Um, the work that we have to do together ahead is something that I'm looking forward to. So I appreciate the vote of confidence, you all. That's it, uh, Wednesday. April the uh, 5th, 2023, uh, the time being 4.44 p.m. I greet all human beings all around the world with the universal greetings of peace and the blessings of God be with you. Doesn't matter what your political, philosophical, personal, nor your religious beliefs may be. Doesn't matter whether you're the richest or the poorest person on the face of this earth. It doesn't even matter whether you're the proclaimed toughest to the proclaimed weakest person on the face of this earth. Doesn't matter if you're my family, friends, nor my proclaimed enemies. It doesn't matter whether you like what I say or do. That's your prerogative. You have a first, a 14th, and so many other amendments to the uh, United States Constitution to think and speak as you please, as long as you do it in a peaceful, nonviolent, you see what I'm saying, in a respectful manner to some extent. Today, what I want to do, I want to congratulate the 47-year-old brother, the black man in Chicago, Illinois, Brandon Johnson, uh, for winning a, the mayorship in uh, Chicago, Illinois, on yesterday, April the 4th, 2023, 55 years after the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. May Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. rest in peace. Uh, those in Chicago that voted for him and supported him of all nationalities, y'all did the right thing. You got new leadership. Those who was rep who was representing Paul Vallis, knowing Paul Vallis uh, was being supported by the Chicago, Illinois, uh, for uh, police fraternal uh, president uh, who said what happened on January the 6th of 2021 on Wednesday in, in uh, Washington, D.C. He didn't see nothing wrong with that. He didn't see nothing wrong with one of his white police officers. And, and I'm, not, I'm not talking about all white police officers, but that went to the uh, January the 6th and was a part of that riot or that coup. They call it an insurrection. It was a riot and it was a coup. And anybody know if that was a group of black or Spanish people doing that, they'd have been shot and killed. But he didn't see nothing wrong with that white individual. He said that the, the police officer was off duty, so he was all right for what he had a right to do what he's doing. But if he races off duty, he races on duty. But it was a black female who on her lunch break doing this in uh, solidarity uh, with the Black Lives Matter uh, movement, uh, she was suspended. But ain't not only that, you seen a formal Black Panther who's a congressman now, I ain't even got to say his name in Illinois, and some of the uh, aldermans and representatives and senators from Chicago, some from even Cabrini Green going against the 47 year old brother. Even some of these so called activists that said it, they'd be, they'd be talking about all the racism, they went against that brother. You know what this remind me of? This remind me of in the 1980s when Harold Washington, when Harold Washington ran against the Democratic machine and won on an independent ticket. Another thing that I want to talk about is I want y'all to protect Brandon Johnson. If this message get to Brandon Johnson or anybody in this circle, to his wife and his three sons and all of his friends and anybody that he have in his circle, y'all protect them because they don't want you in that office. You've seen all of them people 
went with this guy, Paul Vallis, knowing Paul Vallis got a history of working with Richard Daly. Richard Daly that didn't care nothing about blacks. You see what I'm saying? Watch them blacks because any of them that, that voted against you or, or went with Paul Vallis, they'll try to do you like they did Harold Washington. When Harold Washington won the first term and he won the second term, all of a sudden he died. But we know they killed Hal Washington. Brandon Johnson, they gonna try to do you the same way. So you keep your protection, you put God first, and watch who you put in, the police or anybody else to God and you or your family, you watch them people. Some of them snakes, I grew up with some of them aldermans that's, uh, that went against you in Cabrini Green. But Brandon Johnson, you represented, you, you, you mentioned Cabrini Green in your uh, victory speech. You even said that you are the mayor for those who voted against you. That's what Harold Washington did. He didn't just do for blacks, he did for everybody. He in Charles, Missouri, I thank God that the black female that was running for city council, that she lost, lost big time. The white female that won, I voted for and told other people to vote, vote, vote for, Monica Goodman. Uh, because I wanna see if she gonna do different than some of the city council meetings, members down there now. But to the black female, she, she around here using black people in the black community. You see what I'm saying? The same as some of these other people that she hang out with like Lester Gillespie. He got all of these programs misusing our black community, getting our children to sign these things so he can get millions of dollars, then rent some of his houses to black people but won't fix them up. But then you can just see right here on Lee Street and Vine Street, when he put the one female out, he didn't get blacks to do nothing to, to, to fix his house. He had the Mexicans do his roof, and I ain't got nothing against Mexican because my granddaughter is Mexican. My oldest granddaughter is Mexican. Now he got white people fixing it. He ain't got no work for the black people, no more than alcoholics and drug addicts where he can give them a few dollars. That's how, they, that's how these black leaders here work in Chicago, Illinois. Then in Carbondale, Illinois, where my son was found hung, and they tried to say it was suicide, you done had the black female that was the acting mayor, she's the mayor now, a NAACP member, a black female that's got about several different groups and getting government grant money from the city of Carbondale and the Justice Department, she done got elected as city council. You got three, you got two black city council females in Carbondale and a black female mayor and all them tied to all of these programs. Ain't none of them tried to help me with my son's case where he been hung and it's been over two years. But y'all watch, everybody that's black ain't necessary for you. Everybody that's white ain't necessary against you. But I'm gonna leave y'all with this here. Think about what I said. You see, God sit high and look low. Just because them people got in and carving their little noise, God gonna give them a chance to turn themselves around. But Brandon Johnson, he gonna change Chicago. Y'all watch that man. Y'all help protect that man. A young 47 year old, you know they don't. You know how racist it is in Chicago. When I was living there, you couldn't even go to Marquette Park. I was working on Amalek. But I'm gonna leave it like this here. Peace, peace. Now, democracynow.org. As we go from Wisconsin to Chicago, another closely watched race. Brandon Johnson was elected mayor of Chicago in a major victory for progressives. Johnson, a black teachers union organizer, defeated conservative Democrat Paul Vallis, a champion of charter schools who ran on a law and order platform. Johnson won even though Vallis had outspent him two to one. Brandon Johnson spoke last night to supporters. So, Chicago, I'll say it this day. Today, we take big steps towards figuring it out here. So I believe since we are taking steps to figure it out here, let's take this bold, progressive movement around these United States of America. Andy Johnson reveling in the victory today, winning with 51% of the vote after initially polling just over 2% back in October. Today, he was talking a lot about the importance of uniting a city that was clearly divided in this election. Commissioner Brandon Johnson all smiles this morning with a new title. Good morning, Mr. Mayor-elect. Mr. Craig Wall, how are you? 
Johnson now ready to move ahead. I can't wait to be sworn in as the next mayor of the greatest city in the world. The thrill of last night's campaign victory now giving way to the reality of governing the city of Chicago. What will be your number one priority when you take office? Obviously, public safety is something that has been on the minds of people in the city of Chicago for a very long time. I mean, it's a very severe problem. And uniting the city requires us to sit down and talk to everyone. Johnson says that includes police as well as community and faith leaders and members of the newly elected district police councils. I think I made the right choice. Johnson began his day at the CTA Red Line stop in Chinatown thanking voters. But one group his campaign is really thanking is younger voters, many who may have been motivated by the rally with Bernie Sanders to go to the polls. How much was the youth vote a factor? It was monumental. You saw it. And that's the type of excitement that we need, right? Think about the number of people in my generation or older that are constantly pushing young people to get engaged. And we did that. But less than a week after the pre-runoff city council voted to reorganize and appoint its own committee chairs, Johnson signaling that will need to change. Now, there are members now who will be joining the city council that also should be able to weigh in on how those committees are structured. So you want to see that redone after the new council well, is sworn in? What I want to see is that everyone gets to participate. 